From VOA Learning English, this is the Economics Report. Banks in Cyprus reopened in late March after the government ordered them closed for almost two weeks. Customers had a daily withdrawal limit of about $380. The closure was necessary to avoid a run on the banks. When that happens, customers withdraw so much money from banks that they collapse. Cyprus accepted $13 billion in rescue loans from the European Union and the International Monetary Fund, but at a cost. The country's finance minister warns that people with uninsured savings of more than $130,000 in Cypriot banks could have 40% or more of their money seized. Many of those people are foreigners. Cyprus has agreed to reform its banking industry, but experts say the result could damage the country's economy. The deal with international lenders aims to make the Cypriot banking industry smaller. The banking industry in Cyprus is bigger than the country's economy. Poor banking decisions have led to serious troubles for Cyprus's biggest banks. Cyprus Popular Bank, the country's second largest, is set to close. Some of its holdings will be taken over by the Bank of Cyprus. The closing will affect thousands of jobs. The financial rescue for Cyprus is different from the plans for Greece, Ireland, and Portugal. In those countries, higher taxes and cuts in government spending are part of a deal with lenders. In Cyprus, large deposit holders are to pay. Eurowen Dieselbloom, the head of the Eurogroup, says that the rescue for Cyprus could be a model for resolving the banking crisis in Europe. But some experts warn that might force people to move their money out of the Eurozone and make the situation worse. For VOA Learning English, I'm Mario Ritter.